everyone, Miss Naturally Mary here. Happy Sunday to you all. Seems like I always do my videos on Sunday. That's becoming a regular habit of mine. Seems like that's when I have free time after church. Um, but I just want to come to you all and show you my hair and also show you how I twist my hair at night. Now, this morning when I got up, my hair was looking a little crazy. And I actually pinned it up here and kind of had like a little pomp going on the pompadour and when I took it down and in the back I just had it I had it down and kind of pulled some hair to the side but once I took it down it was bigger and it was more stretched but this morning it just was not doing what I wanted to do and I actually got up late for church so I had to rush and I just did something really quick to it but I'm now a year and four months natural so glad about that and my hair is getting longer I am anticipating the growth that I'll have in year two I'm super excited and expecting really long hair in year two and then year three I just think it's just gonna blow me but I'm really excited about that but um let me do a quick lens check I was checking my lip earlier and the last time I checked it was right at my collarbone right here but now it is in the back. Let's go past my collarbone. About an inch, maybe an inch past my collarbone. Inside. About well, almost at my collarbone. right under my lip this side I'm not sure if this side is shorter than the other side but sometimes it kind of plays tricks on me it looks like it's about I think it's about the same but when I do my twist outs it looks like this side is possibly a hair shorter Now when I twist my hair at night, and I'll post pictures, I won't go through and do the whole process because it'll I don't want this video, video to be very long. But in, in the front I do I'll do a, some regular two strand twists about this big in the front. So I'll I'll do two strand twists about this size and I use this product. Beautiful Textures Curl Control Defining Pudding. And there are quite a few people that ask me what I use on my hair. I've tried so many other things. I tried this when I was doing my the QP Mango Butter. I tried this when I was doing my um, Havana Twist, just to make sure my hair was really moisturized because I saw quite a few naturals using this product, but they actually use the moisturizer. And I was thinking because I've used Curl Pudding with this product, that I should get the curl pudding. It might just work better for me, but this product is very watery and my hair just does not do well with products that have a great deal of moisture. Although more, you, water is very good for your hair, my hair just doesn't turn out right with the twist outs. And in the morning time, I'll take my hair down and my hair will not be dry. It will look, literally look crazy in the morning. I'll have a big puff or big afro and I usually don't like that look. So this product, Ladies, if you have 4C coarse hair like me, you want to try this. This product, it just, it does my hair so well. And I don't have to add gel. With other products in the past, I've had to add Eco Styler gel. And I'm starting to notice, I don't know what's going on with my hair, but I'm starting to notice that when I use Eco Styler gel, I'll have these white flakes. And then I'll have to wash my hair again because I cannot stand having any white residue in my hair. But this, I do not have to add any form of gel or anything. And I'll show that product again. And then for my edges, now I told quite a few people about this product. Murray's, Murray's Edge Wax. And this was really good for me. Um, 
maybe about four or five months ago but I'm finding that this product is also now giving me that white residue I don't know what has changed with my hair but this product just does not it doesn't do very well for my edges because you know I'll lay them down and they'll look slick sleek and everything but after a certain amount of time during the day I look at my hair and I'm like what in the world happened why do, do I have all this white stuff on the side but I was watching um, one of the naturals um, hair video and I think it was Miss Miss Hair 2012 <laughs> and I probably am saying the name right wrong <laughs> probably saying it wrong but she was promoting this product it wasn't anything that she was sponsored for but she was saying that this was a good product to use and on this little leaf here it says good for natural hair I hope that's showing up and so I've been using that it does not do what this product was doing the Murray's edge wax but it does it good enough see my edges are still kind of they're not that and they're not laid like I like them but it does a trick and I don't have to worry about that white residue but getting back to my night routine nightly routine <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh I literally have a little pinch of product left that is ridiculous I go through this product in no time and I'm so heavy-handed with the product but I'm learning that it's better if you don't use that much product when you're applying for maybe second day third day hair because at nighttime I have to add this product to my hair because I don't like for my hair to look dry in any form so I'll add more at night some naturals can use a product the first time they do their twist out or their braid out and they don't have to add a product the next day but my hair it just needs it because it's it's just very dry it gets really dry and um, um, these past couple of days, I've added cocoa, coconut oil. Gracious, I can have a hard time talking. I've added coconut oil to my hair to make sure that the moisture was sealed in there and my hair has felt so much better. I probably really don't need to add additional product tonight, but I am just to make sure it's moisturized. I'm a stickler about having moist hair. I don't like for it to be dry. I'm gonna try to do this really fast. So what I usually do is, once again, I usually do four two strand twists in the front, as you can see here. And then the rest of my hair, all of this, I actually flat twist. Okay, so I'm gonna two strain this really quick on as fast as I can because I want to get to the flat twist to show you all what that looks like. And I'll add, also post a picture so you all can see what I mean because I'm not gonna actually go through doing the whole process. And what this does, I found that. The front, the, the, the look that I like going for, where it's more stretched in the back, and then the top, it has more of a shrunken effect. Well, it's not, it doesn't shrink too bad, but it just gives me the flow that I like for my hair when styling it. Because I usually have like, like to have like a side bang over here, kind of going. And then on the side, I kind of, side in the back, I like for it to be bigger. Guys, it is the first day of fall. I am so happy about that. I love fall. You see how chunky that is? My flat to us, I usually add about this much product. That's what it looks like. It's really creamy. My hair, it just has to have good products and I just put it all over that just a little bit more okay and I'm just gonna flat twist this one I usually do it going back 
And when you're flat twisting, you're just going to take two sections and then just add hair. It's almost like corn rolling if you know how to do that. But instead of using three strands, you're using only two. And another reason why I do my hair like this is because it just doesn't take as long as having to go through and do all these little flat twists. I tried doing the flat twist just recently and I did them medium, small to medium. They weren't as big as I usually like them, but I was like, you know, I'm gonna try something different. I see a lot, a lot of females that get great results doing small twists, but it was just, the, the curl pattern was just way too small for me. My hair just looked, it didn't look the way I like it to. I'm very particular about my curls. And I do not like them to be small. Okay. All right. So that's one flat twist. And I usually just do all of this about this size and I go all the way down and I do this side too. All right. And I should have showed you all my outfit before I started doing this video, but I'm just wearing a blazer, high-waisted pants, this necklace I purchased from Route 21, and my lovely studded earrings that I wear all the time. So that's the end of this video and again I'm going to post a picture of my hair completely done so that you guys can see exactly what it looks like. I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much.